the video and before we even get into this fantastic video i'm gonna need you to click on that subscribe button honey so i can be a part of your journey you can be a part of my journey and we can be on this journey of controversy <laughs> mixed race relationship <laughs> together um let's say sometime um i don't know if you guys okay i don't know if you guys noticed right that chandler moore is in a relationship with a beautiful stylist okay whose sneaker game is fire um and she happens to be a caucasian okay she happens to be a white um a lady um and i remember when we found out we me and a close friend of mine like it didn't sit well with me and i don't want to say do so well with my spirit because it had nothing to do with my spirit okay <laughs> um it didn't sit well with me and i was like why and we're having the conversation of of like while well, these black men get saved and um and um they marry white women um so be before li and subscriber link dragon hear me out <laughs> okay now um i can shop i only have three examples right now okay so it's like maybe me your point isn't even really that bad okay because it's china Moore and it's amen alex i don't know if you know him i am a follower of him because shout out to him but you get the point so after that conversation i really had to go back and um just it really like it really like became pressed if i can say that and it really made me go like sit down and like really like reflect one thing about me get reflect i understand that it really made me go back and like have to sit down and like reflect on like exactly like why you know it goes back to that whole thing of like oh white women want our men too now they already have everything else and then i had to take it from a christian point a christian perspective and be like should we be bothered as christians if um interracial couples forms should we be bothered should it we care a damn no matter word <laughs> okay and i was reading this other book um talking about forgiveness i'm going to do a book review on it on my instagram if you're not already following my instagram buddy go do that so that you can get the full review but it was talking about how it the main thing is like forgiveness is you can't do it without jesus okay and if we like we know like i'm not saying that we need to be ignorant to the issues that we have in society i'm not saying we should be ignorant to racism i'm not saying that we should be ignorant we should be fighting for injustices but i feel like for us it should look different than it does for people who don't know jesus okay so let me just read quickly read the scripture and then we can dissect this together so um second corinthians 5 verse 19 in the new living translation says for god was in christ reconciling the world with himself no longer counting people's sins against them and he gave as this wonderful message of reconciliation now this is when um this book man this book is what brought the scripture to me and was like it was the first time i ever like it's not the first time i read the scripture but it was the first time that it was interpreted in that way and i was like men <laughs> you know so basically um it was talking about how um we couldn't do reconciliation without jesus and jesus is what started off jesus is who makes it possible so if we say that we are saved and we have christ and christ is within us we should have that spirit of reconciliation we should be able to reconcile with people now going back to black men dating white women or black white men dating black women um it's the whole thing of like we because we have christ should be able to i don't want to say look past everything that has happened for, in the past but we should be able to see things differently we should be more open to those relationships and be open to reconciliation you know um reconciliation of the races um moving forward together reconciling you know um not holding each other um not counting each other's sins against each other so for me it shouldn't be a problem for you to be with a white guy 
or for a black guy to be with a white girl because it's like if we can't do it then who will because we have christ i'm not saying we should be ignorant to everything that's happening in society and everything that's happening around us i'm just saying that we are the salt of the earth and if we lose our salt if we lose what makes us um children of god and disciples of christ then how are we any different from the rest of the world um if we still side eye mixed race couples in the church and we still side eye white people and white people still side eye black people in the church then how are we going to show the world that having christ makes you any different um and some people might be like well you're looking at it deeper than whatever it is but it's my preference well i reflect on your preferences um why do you have that specific preference why do you only want to date black men <laughs> okay why as a white woman do you only want to date white men you know um why do you have those specific preferences you know and at the end of the day god knows our heart god knows your heart you can say to me it's a preference but at the end of the day god knows your heart so in closing romans 12 verse 2 says stop imitating the ideals and opinions and of the culture around you but but be inwardly transformed by the holy spirit through a total reformation of how you think this will empower you to discern god's will as you live a beautiful life satisfying and perfect in his eyes so that's what i want to say i want to say that in for people who don't have jesus it's hard to understand how it's hard to understand how different races can date each other because of all the hurt that has happened in the past and we can't even say that it's that long ago because it was the hurt that happened to our grandparents you know who are still alive um and it's just like we bakereste children of god um People who have Jesus living within them have to be different. We cannot still be in the church and having issues. And I'm also talking to myself because I told you guys that I was pressed when I saw Chandler Moore, okay? Mr. All those fire maverick souls, okay? Mr. Feelings, okay? Was dating a white woman and it's like if we act exactly the same way as people who don't have christ act then what is the difference how will people look at us and be like okay i can see that having christ gives me the strength the power like it, it based the reconciliation is impossible because you think about it when somebody hurts you the first thing you want to do is hurt them back and that's how we know that it's like it goes against human nature to forgive and to move past previous hurts and that's how with even Simple, something as simple as being accepting and loving and 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 being open to dating other races can just show just how much christ lives within you because you forgive you know um that's what i want to say like let's not let's be different let's be um who jesus intended us to be who god intended us to be so for me now i'm starting to you know like i'm going to be more intentional about feeding myself healthy happy christian interracial relationships just so that i can get rid of the ideals and norms of the world of like you know what black people one side white people one side colors one side indians one side and start being more open to to god's will so basically god really called me out on that he was like why why are you pressed though and i was like well why am i pressed though? <laughs> and, um so i think that's the video comment down below what you think on it um i was very honest in this video um i was very honest in this video um so yeah <laughs> let me know what you think comment down below any thoughts that you have any opinions that you have anything that i might have missed that you would like to say um um and also like another thing about me is i'm open to learning and i'm open to hearing different opinions really really like anything you want to say any opinion you have you can let me know we can just have an open dialogue so let's do it in the comment section please don't find anybody in my comment section this is just a space where we can be honest and open and 
um open our minds you know start thinking further than what we're used to thinking i really hope you enjoyed this video this one was a very hard one for me i still have sort of tears in my eyes but not really because it's 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 one of those that you know i feel needs to be out there but it's very hard for me to speak about um because i feel no we're not perfect you know and it's like this whole christian journey is is not linear um it has troughs and peaks <laughs> so yeah um yeah that's something that god recently dragged me about and addressed um for me and i just thought i should share it with you guys and see what you guys have to say um if you don't want to comment you can talk to me in my dms on instagram mostly i really just go on twitter just to say that i've uploaded a video <laughs> so yeah um let me know let me know child let me know anyways um bye